In this video I'll show you how division is done in the metric system using amounts with different units of measurement. First off, what do I mean by different units of measurement? Sometimes with the amounts you have newtons or meters or volts and the accuracy of your calculations is absolutely affected by the unit of measurement that follows the amount. You can stay on track by following this trusted and tried three-stepper. First, convert the given units to base units, then do the division, then convert your answer to the requested unit of measurement. Let me show you how it works. And this is what I mean. For example, in some cases, let's start with this one in the middle, meters divided by seconds. For example, you might be traveling a distance of 10 meters in 2 seconds. Meters and seconds are base units. These are all base units. I know this because meters and seconds don't have any metric prefixes like kilo or centi or deco. Everything is just base unit in this respect. Uh, don't get hung up on the physics. Just work with the metric prefixes. And uh, following these steps here or this procedure here. So we made sure these are base units so no conversion is needed. Next one, division. 10 divided by 2. That's 5. And often when it comes to different units of measurements, uh, these original two measurements combine to make a new unit of measurement. In this case, it's gonna be meters per second. If you're traveling 10 meters in two seconds, your speed is five meters per second. The same applies to kilometers per hour or miles per hour or feet per second or whatever you're doing. Another one. Oh, and there is no requested uh, unit of measurement because I just made it simple. But uh, let me do another one so I can uh, get you uh, get your head going in this direction. Say a force of 50 newtons is being exerted on a surface of 10 square meters. The question is, what pressure is being exerted? These are again base units because there are no metric prefixes here. Nothing is centi or milli here. So this part is done. Next one, division. 50 divided by 10. That's 5 again. And uh, sometimes these different units of measurements, the newtons and the square meters, combine to form a new unit of measurement. This one is capital P, lowercase a, PA stands for Pascal, named after Blaise Pascal, a brilliant French mathematician and physicist. Uh, a third example I want to give you quickly. For example, in uh, electrical calculations, you might have, uh, I don't know, say 100 volts, an electric uh, difference of potential of 100 volts and this produces a current of 50 amperes. Ampere is short for, the short for it is amps, most people say amps but this is amperes named after another French mathematician and physicist André Marie Ampère. So these are again base units because they don't have metric prefixes. Next one, doing the math. 100 divided by 50 is 2. And again, these two different units of measurements combine to form a new unit of measurement. This one is a Greek letter, Greek capital letter, omega. And uh, it means uh, it's, it's a measure of uh, electrical resistance. So, 
in these calculations, the numbers just work out across the board without difficulty because these are all base units. If these are not base units, the numbers and the result of your calculation is greatly affected. Let me demonstrate here with this one. Say, kilonewtons and square kilometers will not make kilopascals. For example, if you have a huge, huge force of 1,000 kilonewtons, that's a massive amount of force, and it's applied over a surface of, uh, I don't know, two square kilometers. Is that going to be equal to 1,000 divided by two, 500 kilopascals? No, it won't. It doesn't work this way. If this was, uh, if, th if these were base units, it would work. But they have metric prefixes, kilo and kilo, and the requested is also kilo. But, but the math doesn't work out this way. So this one is incorrect. You have to follow this three-step procedure, starting with converting the given units to base units. So 1,000 kilonewtons, let's get started, convert it to newtons. It's got a metric prefix of kilo, so this is where we start, and we convert it to base units to newtons. It's three jumps away, so I'm going to write the 1,000 here, and it's 1,000.0, and it's going to need, uh, I'm going to need to move the decimal dot three spaces that way. So starting here, one, two, three. That's where we end up with the decimal dot there that's gonna be 1 million so 1,000 kilonewtons is 1 million newtons and this needs to be divided by 2 square kilometers and this is where the uh, usually chain falls off the system here 2 kilometers that's square kilometers square kilometers do not convert to square meters in multiples of tens Starting with the prefix kilo, we can get to the base unit in three jumps. But because these are square units here, that's what's indicated by this number two here, these jumps are not tenfold each time. These jumps are a hundredfold each time. So if you need a refresher on this one, or a reason why, watch my other video titled Metric multiplication with similar units of measurement in it you'll see a detailed explanation for this one so that's three jumps but that's 100 times 100 times 100 so that one has two zeros two more zeros and two more zeros that's gonna have six zeros in it so the two is followed by six zeros in total That's how many square meters it is. Two square kilometers is two million square meters. Now we can do the division to get base unit divided by base unit to get another base unit, Pascal. This calculator. So one million, one million newton divided by two million square meters there equals 0 0.5 Pascal 0 0.5 Pascal so far we're done with converting it to base units the given amounts to base units we did the division and last step converting this answer to the requested amount kilopascals so we're going from kilopascals sorry going from pascals to kilopascals pascal is a um, prefix less base unit so it's here pascal and we're going to kilopascals that's going to be three jumps in that direction what that means is starting with starting with 0 0.5 we're moving the decimal dot three spots over that way one two, three. That's the final answer, 0 
and then three zeros and then followed by a digit five kilopascals that's the final answer 1000 divided by 2 is not 0 0.005 but 1000 kilonewtons divided by 2 square kilometers is 0 0.0005 kilopascals here the end result is massively affected by the metric prefixes you need to practice this practice it on your own time change this kilonewton to something as deconewtons and those square kilometers to square decimeters and uh, see what happens see how many megapascals you get out of it change these numbers uh, and change this one to millivolts change that one to milliamps see how many milliohms you get out of it okay you need to practice this I can't do the learning for you, that's something you have to do, okay? Practice it until you're proficient with these calculations.